all welcome to ec electronics so in this video we are going to discuss about rajya sabha research and study scheme so uh, rajya sabha is actually recruiting for uh, people for fellowship and also for uh, they are recruiting interns okay so if you are pursuing graduation or post graduation then you can actually do internship in rajya sabha okay so we'll see the details of uh, the fellowship and also for uh, internship the details we'll see okay so the applications are invited for dr s radhakrishnan chair then four rajya sabha fellowships and 10 openings for rajya sabha student engagement internship okay so this internship is actually for people who are pursuing either graduation or post graduation in any study discipline okay if you are doing a graduation or post graduation in any discipline then you are eligible for this post a lot of people do ask me in the comment section regarding this uh, that is the internships mostly people uh, who are doing third year or uh, final year they ask me regarding the internship updates so here it is it is actually internship update and come there is a, another fellowship update also okay along with it so before seeing the details you should know that uh, you have to actually send the application form the application form and other things they have actually given us a separate pdf so the application you have to send through email to either this mail id or to this mail id on or before 31st of march that is application procedure so this mail id uh, you can obtain from this pdf which i'll be posting in description okay so that is application procedure and the last date i'm telling here itself it is 31st of march on or before 31st of march okay now let us see the details regarding this uh recruitment okay so this is the pdf i'll be posting this also in description where you will get the details okay uh so first one dr s radhakrishnan chair there is actually there is actually a fellowship post and there is dr s radhakrishnan chair and also there is rajya sabha fellowships and then there is internships see here this is the section part e is actually for internships so first we will see the internship because mostly people are interested in knowing about the internships right so internship detail first we will see so you have to go to the part e okay so this is actually a long or lengthy pdf but we will see those things here don't worry so you have to move to part e to know about internship yeah here it is so this is actually for internship session which is part e see here the objective is to uh, give internships to the people uh, now the eligibility is students pursuing either graduation and post graduation course in any discipline would be eligible for the internship program during summer vacation there would be 10 internship five for graduate and five for post graduate okay five each for post graduate and graduate internship positions among the graduate and post graduate applicants will however vary depending on the applications okay now talking about the selection procedure interns shall be selected by the rajya sabha secretariat as per the directions of so they have not actually given uh, that what is the selection methodology and all but mostly there will be interview only okay now deployment of the interns what you will you actually do interns will be deployed in the key sessions of the secretariat that is the legislative session bill office table office committee session so under these sessions you will get to work okay under the supervision and mentoring of the concerned head of the branch okay so the head of the branch will be there for uh, monitoring you and uh, coordinating you but you will be wor working under these sessions the duration of the internship will be for 2 months from the date of award of the internship okay now the stipend that you are going to get us 10000 per month will be the stipend so this is actually for a period of 2 months but uh, you will get an exposure to this uh big thing that is rajya sabha working in, get to work in rajya sabha is actually not a small thing so it is actually a very good thing so that is all about the internship uh update and also on completion of the internship you will get a certificate okay now let us see the detail of fellowships okay so for fellowship you have to go to the session c rajya sabha fellowships actually in session c so you have to move to the session c for the details so here yeah so for fellowships the eligibility is is 
open to scholars who have relevant educational qualification or experience for undertaking the study in line with the objective of the scheme. So if you have an experience or if you have graduated for those people, this, this opening is actually okay. Now the applicant of the fellowship should be in the age limit 25 to 65 years. Okay. So the age limit also they have given. The applicant should have minimum master's degree in social science, law and other discipline. Uh, relevant to the study preference will be given to those who have higher qualifications of mphil and phd so here actually they are mostly recruiting people with a uh, master degree in social science law and all those areas okay so for those people this is actually it is actually for a period of 18 months and also the area of study they have given here okay so uh, for electronics category we are only interested in the internships okay the other people like uh, the for people who have a degree in law or M MPhil or masters or PhD in those areas. The other sessions are actually for those people. Okay, but for electronics category, that is if you have a graduation or post graduation in electronics, you can actually apply for the internship. Okay, so that's all about the recruitment news from Rajya Sabha. Even though it is actually for a period of two months, this will give you a good exposure. So if you are doing, uh, if you are not doing anything, then in my opinion, you should always try for this job. Okay. So it will be actually a good start for you if you are not doing anything. Okay. So that's all about the recruitment update from Rajya Sabha. If you are interested in doing internship, please do uh, see the application form. Now the application form, see here, there is no fees for applying. The application form you will get uh, towards the end. I'll show you. Okay. Yeah, here it is. This is the annex five and this application form and also this. You have to fill both this and you have to send it along with the necessary certificates to the given mail ID. Okay, the mail ID they have actually given in the next PDF. See here. Here you will get the, uh, yeah, this is the mail ID to which you have to send and on or before 31st of March you have to send. So if you are interested, please do apply for it. Otherwise, you can uh, leave this. Okay. So, that's all about the recruitment update from Rajya Sabha. So, if you are uh, finding these videos useful, please do give it a thumbs up. Also, share it with your friends. And if you want uh, recruitment updates or if you want subject related videos, please do subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and keep on watching.